Oh, hey there. Sorry, just brushing my teeth. Hey, by the way, do you brush your teeth twice a day, every single day? Don't worry, I won't judge you if you don't, because between you and me, I sometimes miss a day here or there. I mean, after all, we're all human, right? But what exactly does it mean to be human? One sec, let me spit. Human. Relating to or characteristic of people or human beings. I guess that makes sense. But what the heck are these? <laughs> what is this? Why would Google have these images here? These are so weird. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, maybe let's try something more specific here. Being human is the ability to make our own decisions and to have a conscious mind. Make our own decisions. You know what? I'm gonna stop brushing my teeth because I'm a human and that's what it means. Actually, you know what? On second thought, maybe this isn't such a good idea. Maybe even though we are human and that we get to make our own choices, that probably means that some of the time we're going to make the wrong choice. You know what, buddy? You're sticking around. So I guess being human is kind of problematic. We're prone to making bad decisions or the wrong choice. I mean, even if I wanted to brush my teeth 100% of the time, that just isn't going to happen. Or is it? What if there was some way I could make the process of brushing my teeth happen every single day no matter what? What if I could make it automatic? Then my teeth would be so healthy and white like a Swedish person. At least that's what Google says. What if I could actually automate more things? What if I could pump these babies up every single day automatically. Maybe there's like some type of app you could download on your phone that you would just start automatically just pumping out some heavy reps. I could even get my work done at the same time while it just runs, you know? Ah. Then I'd have teeth like a Swedish person and a body like Hugh Jackman. Ever since I started automating my bench press, things have been going really great. Okay, so maybe it's not possible to automate doing bench press. But if you like and subscribe, you can see me one day put up 405 pounds for real. Disclaimer, it might be a while. Unfortunately, automating those things are going to be impossible. I mean, there's no app. I checked. But it did get me thinking. What if there was something that I could automate in my life that would massively improve it? And then it hit me. Oh, not that hit me. The other thing. Let's try that again. And then it hit me. I can automate my finances. And that's exactly what I did. Last year, I fully committed to automating my finances and I was able to make $14,126 off of my investments. At the same time, I was able to save up an additional $25,000 last year. So add those two together and my net worth got an awesome boost last year. 
But what exactly does it mean to automate your finances? And how exactly do you do it? First of all, I don't want you to be scared about technology interacting with your finances. While it is important to be aware of how it interacts with our data, ultimately it can serve a really useful purpose. Just like my Google Home when I'm feeling sad. Hey Google, jack me up. Steve, you are incredible. You are so confident and strong. Not to mention sexy and charming. You are going to kill it today. You're going to smash your goals and realize your full potential. Now go my son, the day is yours. One of the most powerful ways that we can automate our finances is by setting up something called a pre-authorized contribution or PAC for short. We want to make PACs our PICs. Get it? PIC, partner in crime? Yeah? No? A pre-authorized contribution is something that we can set up at our bank or our financial institution to automatically move money from our checkings or savings account into our investment account or even just another savings account. You don't necessarily have to be investing your money right now to be able to take advantage of the benefits of using a pre-authorized contribution. The good news is that setting up a pre-authorized contribution is usually super simple. For example, if you were using a company like Wealthsimple, all you'd have to do is just open up the app on your phone or on the desktop and simply go to add or move funds. And then from there, you can press automated and then you can set up an auto deposit and then you can choose the amount that you want to deposit. You can choose how frequent you want it to be. You can make it monthly, bi-weekly, weekly, whatever you want to do. And then after that, you just choose what account you want it to go to and then you can have it start whenever you want. And linking another bank account to transfer from is also super simple as you can see here. For example, if I was banking with TD, all I would do is press on TD and then it would take me to a page where I can link my bank account and then set up my pre-authorized contribution that would happen automatically on a regular schedule. I wouldn't even have to lift a finger or think about it. So I fully committed to having this set up automatically for the entire year last year and had money moved automatically into my investments every single month. So if you're somebody who's new to investing or even if you're someone who's just looking to save a couple extra hundred dollars per month or something like that, this is so powerful. And I'd like to show you a really fun example to illustrate how that is. All right, so as you may know by now, I love illustrating these things with water. So basically what we have here is we have a few different containers. So this jug is going to represent me. And then all these other glasses here are going to represent everyone but me. And then this water in here is going to represent our money. So let's say I've worked two weeks at my job and I've just received my bi-weekly paycheck. So now we can go ahead and look at that. All this money is just hitting my bank account. All right, sweet, that looks good. It looks pretty full, but uh-oh, as the month goes on, here comes all the bills. Here goes my rent. Here goes some shoes I just bought. How about that Amazon shopping spree? And of course, we also have food. Oh no, look at that. There goes my entire paycheck. Where the heck did all my money go? Well, as you can see, it went to literally everyone except me. It went to my landlord, it went to the grocery store, it went to Jeff Bezos so he can keep making his head a little bit shinier. How did this happen? Well, it happened because I basically paid everybody else before I paid myself. So then how do we go about fixing this? Well, we set up a PAC. Now say it with me. PACs are my PIC. PACs are my, no, okay. For real though, here's what happens when you set up a PAC. We add a new jug. So this new jug is either our investment account or our savings account that we're looking to automatically move money to. So let's say another two weeks passes and I get my next paycheck. Watch what happens. 
So I get the paycheck and the money begins going into my bank account. Now that my bank account is nice and full, instead of going to pay all these other people first, when I set up a pre-authorized contribution, the very first thing that's going to happen is a little bit of that money is going to move over into my other account. So then when all the bills hit and I have to pay all these different things, Even though I have no more money left in this bank account, I've still managed to actually keep some money from that paycheck, and that's because I paid myself first before I paid everyone else. And over time, what's going to happen is every paycheck I get, a little bit more money is going to keep getting added to this account. So this jug is going to keep getting more and more full, even though I have to also pay all of these bills. And eventually over time, this investment account or this savings account will blossom into a beautiful money tree for you, all without you having to lift a finger or pay it any mind. And so by automating your finances in this way, you can guarantee that you'll be paying yourself first and growing your wealth over time. Don't let it be just like brushing your teeth. Don't leave it up to our monkey brains. Before I peace out of here, I have one last important message for you guys. I just wanted to say that, actually, you know what? Let's automate this message. Hey Google, sign me off. Exciting news, my friends. To celebrate the community we have created of over 5,000 strong, Steve will be doing a Q&A video next week. Follow Steve on Instagram to submit questions. Peace out, mother truckers.